Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K YouTube live video and I am just out here double checking that I'm live on the right spot where I would like to be which hopefully I am and um, hopefully I'll be able to pull up your comments here in just a second. Yep looks like I'm live and going so I'm glad about that and um, oh gosh I'm way off center but <laughs> nothing new about that okay so I think we're a little bit better a little more centered right now so if you are joining today I appreciate it. Uh, feel free to say hello and leave me a comment if you are. And if you're watching the replay, that is fantastic too. I appreciate it no matter when you hop in and check out my video. So, hey, Karen, I'm glad you're here today. So, so today um, I decided that I was going to show you another card made with the, I, I know I say it wrong, but I call them poinsettia. I'm sure it's supposed to be poinsettia. I've heard it said all different ways, but I go with poinsettia because that's easy for me. <laughs> so, all right, so I've got a little card that I have made with that today, and I actually used the layered die cut pieces on here, which um, I haven't used those yet on a card until today, and they're just beautiful. They're, they emboss so nicely, and they cut so nicely, and anyway, I really like them. So, um, got the little die cut flower, die cut leaves, and a few stamped images here. So again, this is from the bundle. And this is the stamp set, which has got lots of pretty images in it. And um, I do love that as well. And I love the mixed fonts and things that they've got in here. Um, love the layered look on some of these where you can stamp. In addition to stamping the outline, there are little pieces you can overlay and stamp. Um, and this is significantly smaller on the, the front of the case than it is actually the actual stamp set. So I was just going to open it up and show you that the, the images are much, much bigger in the actual stamp set than they appear on the cover. So... Just for a little comparison, you know, this is the same image. So it's a really, really, really good stamp set. Lots of pretty images in it. And we also have some fantastic dies that go along with it. Um, this is, you know, the die set that I'm using here, or the dies that I use here are the outline dies, as well as uh, I've got the embossed dies in the center of it. Um, and these, you can actually run through your die cutting machine at the same time. That is what I did. I actually took it, laid the pieces together, got it lined up, ran it through the die cutting machine. And then I actually, to get it to emboss a little bit deeper, I actually took the cutting piece off and just ran it back through with the embossing. I didn't move this, but just ran it back through with the embossing. And that gave me a nice deep embossed image on it. So I was happy about that and um, like the way that looks. So that is what I went with for all the embossed pieces on here. So, um, hey, Danette and Karen, I appreciate you being here as well. Um, we also are going to be using this die cut today, which is one of the stamped images in here. And then the little, is this a branch or berries or I don't know exactly what this is, die cut. Um, we are going to be using a little of the brushed metallic cardstock uh, to do to you oh, with this die cut piece as well. So, hey, Barbara, thanks for hopping in today. All right, so that is the stamp set bundle and it is available now. So it's a, definitely a good one. And if you don't have it yet, you really should, you know but you should have all of it, but you really, really need that one. <laughs> so a couple other things that we use today. Um, I use the first time watching. Hey, Karen, thank you. I appreciate you being here. I'm glad you were able to catch me live on a, I'm not normally live on weekends, but I've had the craziest week here with no power <laughs> at the house since Tuesday. And today is the first day I've been able to get on, have power and, you know, be able to do a live video. So I was excited to hop on and show you my card. So I did use the Pinewood Planks uh, 3D embossing folder. Um, this is actually, hey Cheryl, thanks for hopping in today. This is actually the um, old style version of it. So this was made by the previous manufacturer. And um, I do actually have the new stamp and cut and emboss machine. And in fact, the old style embossing folders do fit through it. It's a little bit different as far as the sandwich goes, but you're going to use platform number one. You're going to put your paper inside the old style. Again, this is for the old style 3D embossing folders. You're going to put your paper inside it. I'm going to put this edge through the machine first. So this is the the um, the, the creased edge, the whatever you want to call it, the folded edge of the folder. So that's going to go through first and then one of the number three plates. So I did figure out that this works um, with the new die cutting machine as well. So definitely a nice little added bonus. 
And Karen, it was an incredibly long time to be without power. It was just, like I said, I, you know, I've never lived anywhere where we've not had power for that long of, of a time. And it's, it was a little, um, a little rough. <laughs> I, I have to admit, kind of get used to the luxuries of having things like, you know, internet and um, not having everybody congregated in the kitchen around the, you know, one little power, power cord that we had that we could plug everything into. So it was a little crazy. Um, all right, so this is the second set of dies that I actually uh, used on my card today. And I used this little octagon die. This is the Hippo and Friends dies. And I used that to cut out the sentiment on here. And um, yes, the die set, the uh, poinsettia dies actually have tons of dies in them. So definitely a good, good set. So um, yeah, we, everything is okay. Food and toilets all made it through all right. And actually, thankfully, we have a gas water heater, so we were still able to take showers, although it didn't do a whole lot of good because you'd get out of the shower and it was a little, little roasty, a little warm. <laughs> so um, didn't, it, it felt good to get cleaned up, but you were pretty much yucky again as soon as you got done. So um, the last set of dies that I used were the stitched rectangle dies, and it's the second largest one that I used here to cut the background piece. Uh, so that is all that I've got for um, the die cuts and things that um, I need to show you, I think. Um, I do need to move this die over here to where I'm going to be doing my die cutting at. Um, but I think that's it. We can go ahead and get rolling on the cards. So um, one thing I did want to remind you about, bonus days. If you have bonus days coupons, make sure that you're getting those things redeemed before the end of August. They will expire, um, and there's no way to use them after August. So make sure that if you have those coupons, you're using them on orders uh, this month. So let me know if you have questions about that. I have the details posted on my blog with the new online store. It works there in a little different place than they used to be. And I've got a little picture out on my blog of how it should look, um, where the, where you'll find the coupon codes. So, um, again, my blog is stampwithamyk.com. If you haven't subscribed or haven't found it yet, um, definitely go check it out. And, um, I'd be happy to have you follow along there as well. Um, I did a little thing a bit ahead of time, like I always do. So this card I actually have, uh, that's the more portrait type card, so it opens at the top. Uh, the card we're making today, it's the same exact, everything is the same on it except for the card base, and it's going to be more of the book fold card. So my original card was cut to four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half, and this one is cut to five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. So either way it works, it's the exact same card base, so um, that all worked out well. And I went ahead and pre-embossed this with the Pinewood Planks embossing folder. Um, this is Garden Green cardstock. This is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, and actually, technically, I think this is the side that is supposed to be the up side for the, when it's embossed, but I actually like the debossed side better, so that's one that I generally tend to use on my cards. I like it. It's got a little more of a, maybe a smoother look, and that's why I like it. So, all right, we're going to use a little bit of uh, multi-purpose liquid glue, hopefully, if I can get it to come out of the, there we go, get it to come out of the container. And just going to put that here on the card front. Um, I I don't tend to be a liquid glue user just because I make a mess with it sometimes because I get a little little overzealous with it. Um, but for things like this, it does work really well because it gives me a little bit of extra wiggle time to make sure that I have everything lined up the way I want it to be before it sets up forever and ever. Um, because as you know with the tape runner type glues, um, once you put those down, they're pretty well stuck. You can sometimes maneuver things a little bit, but not very much. Where the liquid glue works well for this type of thing, when you want it to cover the whole card front um, and want to have a little room to wiggle it around. All right, next up, again, I went ahead and pre-cut. This is the Poinsettia Place Designer Series paper. This is one of the prints in it, and as you know, I'm a huge wood grain fan, so anything that has wood grain in it is an automatic yes for me. <laughs> so this is that designer paper. The other side of this one has the little berries on it. And um, again, I cut that with the stitched uh, rectangles die, and it's the second largest one in that die set, and we're just gonna use a little bit of stamp and seal to adhere that uh, to the card front. And like I said, it definitely, it was nice last night to be able to sleep in the air conditioning. And um, we actually, I was able to do a little bit of work once it got dark out, which that's been an issue for the last few days as well, is that uh, it makes it a little challenging to stamp in the dark. Um, I don't do very well at that. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it was, you know, like I said, it just kind of had made me have to rearrange my whole day and uh, get work done at different times that I wouldn't normally do. All right. Got that all put together. Next up, we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on some Garden Green cardstock uh, with Garden Green ink. 
And this is the little pine bow image from the poinsettia petals stamp set. And just gonna stamp that a couple of times here on this piece of garden green cardstock. And then I'm gonna run it through my embossing folder. Hey Denise, glad that you are here. Thanks for joining today. So again, this die um, out of the poinsettia dies is the one that's gonna cut out this um, pretty little pine bow image. And I don't normally tape my um, die cuts down. This is post-it note tape. Normally I don't tape them down when I run them through the die cutting machine because I usually use my magnetic plate. However, my new die cutting machine, the magnetic plate isn't ready yet for it. So I'm having to use a little post-it note tape to hopefully make sure that it doesn't slide around as I run it through the die cutting machine. Hey Britt, I'm glad you're here from Sweden as well. So thank you for joining today. So I'm gonna run this through the die cutting machine over here. And so that's the first die cut. And then I'm just gonna take this and peel it off and place it over on the other die cut. And I'll be ready to go with that one as well. Just a quick little bit with a post-it note tape. And while I'm cutting this, I did want to remind you that I'm also doing a double reward points ordering bonus right now with the kickoff of the new catalog. So the details are on my blog for that as well. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Um, but if you're considering putting in an order, you will get double points from me if you do it between now and uh, Monday. Let me know if you have questions. And hey, Jan, thanks for hopping in from Oklahoma as well. All right, we've got those two pieces cut. I'm gonna set this aside for a second and bring over some of the other pieces that I had pre-cut here as well. And I've got basically all the pieces for the flower that we need. Um, I've got the two stamped images that I just did. I've got some of the leaves that were cut from old olive uh, cardstock. And again, um, the little embossing and cutting pieces are separate, but you can layer them together and run them through at the same time with your die cutting machine. Uh, I do not have a video, Karen. I actually have been without power um, for four, actually almost five days here in New Jersey. We had a hurricane that rolled through and um, we kind of, we lost power. And so today is the first day that I have, since the catalog launched, that I have actually been able to get on and do a live video. So no, I do not at this moment have a video of the new die cutting machine, but I know there are lots of them, lots of them around. A lot of demonstrators are doing them and showing off the machine. All right, we've got the three die cut flowers here. Um, and again, these are just from the poinsettia dies. And then I did take my thumb and just kind of lift up a little bit on the pieces here, just to make it look a little more 3D. Um, I didn't really wrench them up or anything, but just did kind of a quick little bend up to give it a little more, a little more depth in the flower. And then we're gonna go ahead and use Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere that. Yeah, it's, it is hard when you don't, you know, like I said, the, you know, power is just one of those things that you just, yeah, we definitely take it for granted until we don't have it. And, <laughs> and then you're sitting there going, gosh, how in the world, how did we survive this long? You know, it's, it was crazy, little crazy, but we made it through and, you know, all is good. All right, using a little Stampin' Dimensional to adhere the flower to the card front. And then I'm gonna take these pieces that were die cut. Well, actually I'm gonna hold off a second. I'm gonna put the green ones on first, the stamped images. And just using a couple little glue dots here and I'm gonna tuck that under my flower image. Right about there looks good. And again, tuck this one up here under uh, this part of the flower with the glue dot. Um, then I think I'm going to take and just snip off the ends of some of these pieces just a little bit um, because I find that sometimes when they have the really long stems on them, they don't go in the spot that I want them to go. So I usually end up trimming those down since nobody can see them anyway and using glue dots to adhere those underneath a flower. Pretty quick. Um, hi Norma, thanks for hopping in from California. So. Hopefully y'all are having a good Saturday. Like I said, Saturday isn't normally my day to be on and live, but um, you know, it worked out this week with the crazy storm that went through. So glad that y'all are here to join me. 
All right, so I've got a couple of the leaves that I went ahead and die cut earlier. There are three of the larger leaves and two of the smaller ones. And I'm just gonna, again, um, actually, I need to trim a couple of these down. Again, the points on these I found to be just a little bit too long because I'd use Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere this underneath the center. I wanted to be able to tuck my leaves in and they were just a little bit too long if I didn't snip off the ends. They didn't wanna tuck under in the places that I wanted them to and sometimes the die cut pieces and I disagree on where we think they should be. They think they should be in one spot and I think they should be in another and I usually win because <laughs> I have the scissors. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck in uh, one of the smaller leaves here. Put that right in with the, the larger one. And again, we're gonna do the same thing underneath over here. Make sure that's actually on. Yep, it's gonna be on the card front. Um, that's always my other concern too, is making sure that things are inside where the envelope will be, or where the envelope edge will be, because I don't like to have, you know, it makes it a little challenging to mail cards if they're sticking out past the end of the envelope. So I usually try to make sure all of my die cut pieces don't go over the edges of the card. All right, next up, we've got some of the Beta Pearls here, which is, um, again, this is one of the new items from the mini catalog that just started this week. And just a little glue dot on the center of that. And then we're gonna adhere that to the center of the, the um, top flower here. And then I think we'll take a couple of the rhinestones that I've got here. And these are the champagne rhinestone basic jewels. And they're very pretty and very sparkly. And they almost have like a gold touch to them. So that's sort of why I used them on here is I thought they added, I thought they, they coordinated well with the paper and, and just sort of added a little a little bit of something extra and sparkly, which usually we like for the holiday cards. Stick on a couple more here. And I think we'll put that one there and then one of the bigger ones, we'll use this one uh, down here, a little bit closer to the flower. All right, we'll call that good. And then I just have one last piece on the card front. I have to stamp the sentiment, which again, I have pre-cut this with the Hippo and Friends dies and it's Whisper White cardstock. And we're gonna use um, the Happy Holidays sentiment and Garden Green ink again uh, for the sentiment on here. And I'm gonna hope that I get everything stamped straight. I'm gonna line it up or try to line it up on my grid paper as straight as I can. Um, and then I'm gonna make sure that I've got that really inky as well. And hopefully that'll help me to get things lined up and stamped. I think I did it, so at least close enough to straight. The sentiment is always something I can go back and fix if I look at it later and go, oh, that's really crooked. <laughs> but that's easy enough to snip off and fix it if it is. All right, a couple of little Stampin' Dimensional pieces, which again, I cut my dimensionals in half down the middle um, because I like the size of those a little bit better. And they stick just as well with half the dimensional. Don't tell anybody, but they do. <laughs> and that's what I actually prefer um, for dimensionals that I use. All right, so we've got the card front all done. Hey, Michelle, I'm glad that you are here watching from the UK as well, and I appreciate it. Yeah, like I said, normally I'm not live on Saturday, so maybe maybe I need to switch my live day <laughs> since a few more of you have been able to hop in and say hello. All right, I have got Garden Green ink and one of the sentiments from the Poinsettia Place, or Poinsettia Petals stamp set. And this is Warm Wishes from Our Home to Yours, and that is what I've got is the, the inside sentiment on this card. And again, I've just put it in a straighter on, as straight on my grid paper as I can, and then stamp it. And that usually helps me to, to get things lined up and straight when I'm stamping them. And I've got the Sahara Sand ink for the poinsettia image. And just gonna ink that up as well. And then just stamp it over here next to my sentiment. And, oh, you, you like Saturdays? All right, well, thanks, Jan, I appreciate that. So, um, nice surprise to see me here live. So yeah, I mean, it's, like I said, it's you know, just, I'm not normally live on Saturdays, but I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of people saying, hey, you know, I normally don't catch you live, so I don't know, maybe I'll have to switch and see. <laughs> but I don't know, Fridays usually work well during the school year for me, because the kids are usually in school and out of my hair, but um, 
you know, today was a day because I hadn't been live all week. I figured it, I had to hop on because I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> so, all right, and just used a little stamp and seal to go ahead and adhere that to the inside of the card. Um, when I have an embossed card front like this, um, I usually take my uh, bone folder when I'm going to do my crease. Normally, I run this across the top, but because I don't want to smash my embossing on here, I'm going to flip it over and kind of gently do the crease from the back of the card and that usually gives me a good crease on it so that the card stays closed nicely all right that is it for the card share today so i appreciate y'all being here and um again i'm glad that you guys were joining and able to see me people who normally don't on saturday so i appreciate you being here thanks again for hopping in and spending part of your saturday with me i appreciate it have a fantastic rest of your weekend and i will definitely be planning unless we have another power outage i will plan to be back live on facebook on tuesday around two o'clock eastern time and again next week friday around two o'clock eastern time uh, live on youtube so i hope to see you all again and again thanks so much for joining today um thanks for the nice comments on the card glad that you liked them and um we will chat again soon thanks a lot